Yeah! Ow! What up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. I'm uh, I'm feeling good today. Feeling really good. Uh, got the boys back in town, as you can probably tell from the thumbnail and title of this video. Old Joseph and G Wagon Old Gerald back in town, and we have a special guest, Old Wayne. Wayne uh, actually came and helped Gerald and I build the lodge, lay all the sheetrock, hang all the sheetrock. It was not easy. Big shout out to Wayne for all that help. He's here today. Uh, we got eight guys and I'm hoping today I get my redemption. Uh, Y'all saw the Facebook Marketplace Snow Goose full body spread hunt? Yeah. Well, we're doing it again. And when I say doing it again, we're doing it again. We're getting out of the decoys. Over there is the A-frame with cedars covered it completely. And we set the spread in front of us, all the full bodies, and they're big. I'm right in the kill hole. We got some family groups around the edge, uh, but I'm just gonna keep panning around here. It is extremely large. We're back at the blind again. Today we got a west wind and uh, it's supposed to shift northwest at like 18 mile an hour to 20 by like uh, I would say 11, 11 a.m. to noon right there. But I want to let you guys know, first of all, I am giving away a two-man turkey hunt here at Sand Hill Flyways for this coming spring, y'all. I hope y'all can see me. We're giving it away to the podcast members only. I'll link my podcast at the top of the description. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, go over there and check it out. It's five bucks if you don't like it after the first month, uh, especially after the turkey way, tur tur turkey way, turkey giveaway. Uh, you can cancel, but hang around because we're going to be doing giveaways all year long. Some duck gear, maybe another hunt, a waterfowl hunt giveaway. So you want to stay tuned uh, to the podcast and uh, it's enjoyable. It's raw, it's uncut, and we try to make it as funny and entertaining and informative as possible. But I'm going to shut up. I'm going to get into the blind. This, uh, I really don't know what type of shape of spread this is. I don't know if I'd actually call it a shape, uh, but it's it's as big as we could make it. Put it that way. If we spread it out any more, it's really not going to look as good as it does if we spread it out. Plus, a lot of you remember the shells that I have. Uh, we didn't use any of those, and I have 14 dozen of those. The reason why we didn't use them is because the ground is still pretty pretty frozen hard and the stakes uh, for those shells they got some springs on the top of them I really don't like them that much you cannot use a mallet to hammer them in uh, but I think this is gonna work Siv come here where are you going I'm going to crawl on the blind you're gonna go crawl on the blind and take a nap I'm hoping these adults play nice today yeah I do too we're still on the leading it's edge it's cloudy which is good yeah. we've got a little front I think that they'll act a little more generous thinking that we have some good weather going on we above a, us we got a great hide we're out of the decoys probably be shooting them on the swing i would say not necessarily out in the kill hole um it'll be kind of a far shot but we're getting out of the decoys take the attention off of us shoot them on the swing and it's gonna well, be a far shot yeah. okay well, enough about this hunt tell everybody why you, why you're back and not in arkansas because they got like eight inches of snow. <laughs> they don't know what to do. So they have scattered out guys that were supposed to hunt Arkansas, couldn't make the trip because of the weather. Um, we tried moving guys down from Iowa because we're kind of prolonging Arkansas a little bit. They can't change the travel. So basically I am the last guy that was hired at Tracy's. So I was the last one to get field. So I decided I wasn't gonna cost them any money for sitting around on the couch. And, <laughs> right. and I've got to come back and hunt with Bob. I Heck mean, yeah. We've been kicking around the idea of booking snow goose hunts. And yesterday I got my, my rear kicked in by him. It and happens. It, it automatic, automatically made me go, ooh Bob, do you really wanna <laughs> test those waters yet? Uh, with the guys here, with Joe, with Gerald, I feel like we could really do it. Uh, am I saying I couldn't provide the hunts? No, I'm just saying I'd be more confident if my boys were here all the time with me, put it that way. Here is the blind completely covered. You know, you got two guns today? Yes, sir. Yeah. One left hand, right hand. <laughs> Kill them all! That's it, get her done. Oh, Old oh, Jay, what up, brother? Hi. Dude, thanks for uh, you and Tristan picking all the new evergreens. They look good. Dude, these are fluffy. They're good. They're real nice, like. 
All righty, boys, do we have enough room for you guys to slide down? And I'm going to be on Trust the end. No Fred today. Uh, Joe has trip girl. She uh, She's ready to hunt. She hasn't hunted in a couple weeks. So we're going to get sat down. I got the tube. Let's just go. Let's go. Yeah. All right. So since well, I'm the um, the we've just been sitting here gabbing. It is a beautiful morning. It's sitting at like maybe 38. It feels like 40 degrees. Nice and moist out. Good humidity. It feel, it's, it's just like spring. So ready for turkey hunting. We are ready for some turkey hunting. You ready for some turkey hunting? Oh yeah. Look, both of you boys are going, uh-huh. It literally feels like turkey season right now. It's coming y'all. Y'all better get ready. We're gonna be doing some turkey tours. Public land tours, private land tours, it's going to be fun. Well, all season long so far, snow goose season, we've had lessers doing this every morning. Every morning. Beautiful. Is it? It looks like it. Well, we might have our first snow geese hit in the field. Maybe some of them are snows. Ugh. Uh, gonna have a lot of mixed birds today like the last I don't know however many hunts we've done just gotta take easy shots careful shots precision shots make good shot calls put it that way and not make dangerous ones meaning we don't want to uh, make a mistake put it that way I don't know you tell me boys go Ah, I'm out of shells. Yeah, we cleaned house pretty good on them though. Up, <laughs> up. Oh, oh. Okay. Well. Still chewing on stuff. We uh, we did pretty good hunting. We drop out of the seven. Like four of them, three or four. four. Yeah. yeah, buddy. Well, there we go. That was a lot of shells. <laughs> a bunch of shells. <laughs> if anybody heard that around here, they're going, "What just happened?" A war zone. That was a war zone, boys. Uh, we'll check out the birds. Trip is on the other blind, uh, Joe's dog, so we're not going to be able to see the birds every darn time. We don't have Fred today. Uh, but first bird's down. Let's go take a look. Well, that was decent. I'll take it. I'll shoot that <laughs> look, you're like, yeah, yeah Bob, I'll we're going to go every time. Every time. <laughs> What'd you do down there? Emptied my gun. Uh, me too. I think I wasted a good, <clears throat> a good four or five shells just going. <laughs> I got eight. Juby. Yeah, buddy. Big, Ju old big old Juby, man. Check out some more birds here in a minute. Back in the blind here. We've been munching already. Boy, howdy, I'll tell you. I'm addicted. Addicted? It's so easy to get addicted to these bad boys. Beef jerky and dill pickles. Oh, yeah. With your favorite drink. It's unreal. Oh, I spilt them. No. Get low, get low, get low, get low, get low. From the windows <laughs> to the wow. These snow geese need to foul. Yeah, I know, I'm bored. Making up uh, waterfowl rap, rap parodies. Dropping your album next week. Dropping an album next week for sure. These are doing it. Are they? Yeah. Oh, get ready boys. Shoot, I was over here. Rapping. Rapping, being a lyrical artist as I am. <laughs> All right here on the left, look at this, boys. Get ready. We're going to yak them. Eating it up. Yep. Head down, head down. Come on. Oh, yeah. Here we go, boys. In three, and two, and one, and... Oh. That was it. Oh, all right, go, go, go. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. That one has to go down. That's gone. Go down, go down. Well, that was good. We did work on him. Yeah, he gone. We got three of the four. That was pretty good. I'll take it. That's what's up. We were just talking about the ammo sorry we don't have a lot of room for filmage in here the ammo 
let's call it an epidemic. I mean, geez. It's bad. Ammo is so low across the nation. It's so expensive. Let's see what you got down there. What did you uh what did you find at what did you go to Walmart? No, Dunham's. Oh, you went to Dunham's. 18 bucks a box. 17.99 for three inch BBs. Winchesters. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. It's ridiculous. It even says everyday low price on the tag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got two working working together. And they're liking it. They're just loving it. Eating it up. Eating it up. That's what I'm going to be doing when I leave here and go to the Chinese buffet. Look at them. More juvenile snow geese. I didn't know they existed here in Kansas. Get real low? Oh yeah. This is the shot right here, boys. Just get ready to let the finger just squeeze the trigger. Maybe not. He might come on back though. I like when they just come on back. And you give them the second try. <laughs> yeah, put the old gun camera on. Uh huh. Where it's at on this tube, honestly, it's not correct. The aim, it aims high for some reason. Cause I think cause the tube is actually angled up. That's that's the reason why. But it'll look like I'm aiming high, but I'm really not. Just forewarn you here. Oh yes. Are they lower? Maybe by an inch. Oh, there they are. Okay, okay. Ah. He's going way out there. Well, old trip girls out there. I, I kept the gun aimed just so you guys could kind of see what's going on. I wasn't aiming at the dog. I just knew the camera was going and you guys could see everything out there, plus the dog. But if you like that point of view on the old camera, the shot cam, give me a give me a comment down below and let me know. Yeah, get ready, boys. Oh, uh, if they swing back over right there, them two snows up top. The one's got a messed up wing. Oh, the single's just doing it. Giving it up. Then he gets to the blind and lifts 50 more foot. Single, oh, no. oh, Nothing. No. Nothing died there. Nothing. It's okay. Everybody's safe. Oh, single, just going, ah! Mom! Dad! He's screaming. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a shot. That was it right there. Oh, he's going to get lower yet. Look at the old G-Wagon being greedy. Yeah. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Boosh! Boosh! Katoosh! Yeah! I don't know what I was going to say next. I've been making rhymes all morning, boys! Today's a good day! That's a juvie juvie. That's a dirty, dirty bird. We're going to go look at this one. Dirty, dirty gray bird. Oh, it's a blue. A dirty blue. Good morning, though. Good morning. Wow. Oh, yeah. Bring her over here, Joe. That's a good-looking juve. 
Look at the young. Don't you consider good looking? Right? <laughs> that oh. is one greasy son of a gun. Yeah, it is. That's a gray. So what you're after, there. though? Uh -huh. The decoy a little bit better than one. Good job, after. trip girl. Ready to spray up top. Oh yeah. White only. There's two dark in there. Right? These two white will get it though. Oh, uh, maybe not. There's three. Oh, the two white more, out two front. Come over the top. Come over the top. Come over the top. Ah! 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 Look. Coming over from the right. From the right. Oh, here we go. They came back, boys. They liked my mouth calling. I'm filming this. Ah! You like that? I do like that. That sounds really good. Mouth call rapper. Mouth call rapper. I am. I'm a. Uh, we call it jack of all trades. Yeah, jack. Of Even all kick flipper on the old skateboard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Making them wet since '86. <laughs> oh boy, they came in hot, dude. They're ready to go. Flying. Yeah. We might have some aggressive decoyers here, boys. The sun's coming out. It's going to be perfect. Yep, sun's coming out. we got to keep our heads down. That sun's going to come in this blind. We're going to have to TP it a little more where you guys are. Because if they react like this, we're going to have to get... Yeah, look at this. This looks good. Wow, they're not messing around. Time, uh, what time is it there? Uh, time you got? 9.15. 9.15. As you can tell, we're ripping her down. Sun's out. Birds have kind of stopped flying. Uh, wind's picking up. All good conditions, but we're ready for the China Buffet. Uh, we're going. Everyone's hungry. Everyone's here. Gerald and everybody isn't going to be here forever, so we're going to go get us a good, good breakfast in. we got a bunch of full buys to pick up. Don't know how many we shot yet. We will get a uh, pile picture though here in just one tick. Whew. Well, we made quick work of that. I'm surprised all these uh, round bases fit on the trailer. It's a lot. That's a bunch. It's a lot. We got both uh, seed sacks of avian full bodies. Then we got this. The old aluminum trailer is loaded down because this morning I had the trailer on my truck, which is taller and it made it cross the draw. Joe's truck with the trailer will not make it across the draw. So, look at the unit. Old G-Wagon's unit. That's the old G-Wagon right there. Looking snazzy. Isn't that beautiful? There ain't nothing better than seeing an open trailer full of full bodies. Especially white ones. Yeah, here we go. This is the draw that I was talking about. You guys got them back there? They're trying not to let them fall off. Oh gosh. We might get a little jiggy with it here, boys. Oh, man, just put hammer down. Don't let her stop. Don't let her go. Just hammer, Bob, go. Oh, yeah. We good? We made it. Yeah, I put the, yeah, the camera those are gauges, but everything else, meet the new, and <laughs> not the new. This is Gerald's old trailer. Yeah, this is the snow rig. Now. How, how long have you had this trailer? Only two years. Oh, really? Yeah, it's just beat up. It's only two years, and it looks like it's 20 years old. So this is going to be the snow goose rig. Everything will fit in here. Let's fill her up. Well, we're all loaded up. And check it out, the 24-footer. She is full. All the full bodies fit in the front. Only took up about half. And we got both seed sacks, A-frames, brush, stakes. Boom! What are you doing back, man? Here to enjoy the party for a little bit. I know, isn't it nice? Yeah, the snow's messed everything up so for us down there in Arkansas, and now we got to push everything back in Iowa. Yeah, it's gonna but, be busy. It's gonna be busy. You guys are gonna be doing some running around here, oh but right God. now, yeah, I'm just coming back home for a while. Get a little downtime. Yep, hang out. We got See three everybody. whole days. Yeah, three we got whole three days. whole days together. Three whole days to hang out, and then we got to be back down to grab our stuff in Arkansas, head to Iowa. And five spreads in 12 inches of snow <laughs> that's gonna be fun yeah drill every decoy in great yeah. well let's go eat breakfast boy yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, last night, we donated a hunt, long story short, to uh, the Cancer Council of my hometown here, uh, which is Reno County, and boy howdy, we ended up donating two hunts. It was only supposed to, supposed to originally be one hunt for two people, and uh, the first bidder uh, took it all the way up to 6,300, and two people were fighting over it for two people, 6,300. And then the second person bought another one for 6300 Last night, in the midst of uh, 10 minutes, we raised $12,600, almost $13,000 for uh, my hometown cancer council. And, uh, it's amazing. Well, he did it too. Yeah, Chris did. Yeah, they, they bought that one at Flint Oak for 68 so we raised over, almost 20 grand. Yeah. Between two guide services, donating three hunts, we almost raised 20k. That's amazing. It was awesome to see that. I've, I've seen a lot of donated hunts and stuff, and a lot of times they don't go for what they're even worth, you know, which is still fine because everything's getting donated, but the fact that everybody realized what it's for and went ahead and bumped it up, you know, started a bid war, it was cool to see. Yeah. Everybody actually cares. People care, and uh, the wild waterfowl industry is amazing. And just want to thank you all for everybody that went over there and registered. Even if you didn't even uh, bid on anything, thank you guys for heading over there. My hometown. I've had a lot of uh, a lot of people, a lot of farmers, a lot of locals <coughs> on the board reach out and go, Bobby, you moved mountains last night. We just want to thank you. So, <sighs> gives me a old lump in my throat, and I'm just proud to proud to do it. Well, we're not in. <coughs> Kansas anymore not in Kansas at all we are in check it out yep we are in Dallas Texas and it is humid and foggy and rainy and everything else it feels like I'm in Florida right now extremely warm I did not know that there were so many people down here in Texas that knew who I was and watched the channel I've had probably a handful of people in the last 24 hours down here Bobby guy come up and take a picture with me and it's just amazing to see to meet you all if you guys ever see me out and about whether I'm on foot in a vehicle anything do not be shy say hi I want to meet y'all I want to shake your hand I want to uh, see where you're from what walks of life are out there watching me every day it's it's very intriguing uh, it's very very rewarding when I do get to meet you guys so the brave ones that say hello, thank you. Thank you. Uh, on another note, uh, snow goose hunting at home is going to be winding down a little bit. There are some juvies rolling through, so I think when we get back uh, this coming week, I got something planned. We might hunt at home a little bit, but I'm headed to Nebraska with Bond's daddy. Austin, yep, Flair and Austin, I'm going up there to hunt snows with them. I'll probably take my trailer all of my decoys, and we're gonna give it a whirl. Y'all have been requesting that I go up there and hunt with the boys, and I miss them so much, and uh, I'd love to go up there and take the decoys and just provide some hunts and get some videos and just have fun with them. It's been a while since we've hunted together, so be expecting those videos next week. But we're down here in Texas uh, for my daughter's uh, cheer tournament. She did really good. We're gonna get her results here in just a little bit to see how she did. I think their team did really good. Uh, they they might get first place. It'll be close. First to third. I expect them to get right there. But I want to thank you all for watching uh, the Snow Goose camo hats. Not these ones. The snow that has like the camo on the back. Austin actually just told me that they're sold out. And I was the only one pretty much promoting those hats. So I want to thank you all so, so much uh, for picking them up and listening to me and saying, hey, there's only you know, a number of them available because y'all listened and y'all went and picked them up. Uh, we probably won't have those hats again until next year. So whoever got them, lucky you. That's why I always say, you know, if you see something cool from Ducks, you better snatch it up because we don't have a million of them. We're still a rather small company trying to get by. So thank you guys so much for supporting the channel by buying Ducks gear. Seriously, I know you guys get sick of hearing that, but I'm gonna keep saying it. I don't care. Just like me opening the videos with a big yo, it ain't gonna change, okay? <laughs> but hit the notification bell down there 
Uh, remember the two-man turkey giveaway. We are doing it uh, either Sunday through Tuesday. That's when the podcast will go up, and we will announce the winner of the two-man turkey hunt giveaway this coming spring, Sand Hill Flyways. Uh, everything will be uh, on us, paid for, except for your travel. Um, if you want to get entered to win that turkey hunt, go over to the podcast, uh, subscribe to the bo- podcast, join it over on Patreon. I will link it down at the top of the description. Uh, it's awesome. It's funny. The episodes have been hilarious lately, and uh, I appreciate you all heading over there and checking it out. But until next time. Look at the young. Know what you consider good looking. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that oh. is one greasy son of a gun. Yeah, it is. That's a great. What you're after, there. though? They uh-huh. decoy a little bit better than them. Good job, there. trip girl.